Tom Hutchins, he's our most prominent person that is seen. People will show me strange pictures of somebody stood behind them. I myself have caught a man in an RAF uniform sat on that step. You've got to bring an open mind and a lot of respect. What you give is what you're going to get back. Someone's touching my shoulder. No way. This one. Again. Again. Again, that's twice. Albert, were you an inmate here? Albert H. Robinson is acquitted of the charge of a murder of an infant. It's on face detection right now, and it's like following something. Hong Kong? No way. The early hours of this morning, there was three people all waiting for their death sentences. Oh my oh. god! What? The killer he was trying to defend him. If you're the person that choked me, touch that device. Holy mother. Hello, my name is Felicity, but I like to be known as Misdemeanor because uh, most Saturday nights during the summer I do take people to this haunted jail where those inmates are never going to make bail. As you were obviously going to find out or have you seen before on Jeff or the Mouse channels, it is one very haunted, daunting jail. <sighs> second jail in St Andrews because the first jail was built on Water Street where the town office is now. It was a great idea for the time. Um, you had the court on the top half of the building and the jail on the bottom but the infinite wisdom of the builder of the day he put that building on a dirt floor which meant at night the prisoners would just dig through the dirt and escape to freedom. Back then, if you were imprisoned for debt and you escaped on your debt, it was up to the sheriff of this town to pay your debt off. So it was decided in 1816, this town needed to build a new jail, one with the reputation that you'd never want to return to and you'd never be able to escape from. It finally opened in 1832. It closed as a fully functioning working jail in 1979. So before this was all the jail, and on this floor it was a jail as well. Where are the guards sleeping? Here we go. <laughs> that is original. Yeah. That original is original. Wallpaper. So this is a tour of what we didn't do last time, so. Those are the guards room. Yeah, this is where they would have slept. <laughs> Those are the guards where the guards would have slept. Wow. Wallpaper is original. That's so cool. <laughs> this one. The wallpaper's still in this one too. And you had a skylight. A what? <laughs> you had a skylight. Oh yeah, there's a window there. <laughs> because they, they re-roofed the, the, the jail, so that guy had a skylight in his room. Oh, and you yeah. see the little floral kind of... Uh, the wallpaper. <laughs> yeah. Makes people want to go down in a cell more than up here. Yeah. <laughs> Randy, like, we'll just say that. So those were the guards' quarters. Wow. Basically. Let's get up here. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, like this is, this is next level, yeah. Because mm -hmm. this is what we didn't show last time. This is the, <laughs> this is the, 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 the kind of grand tour. This is the, the, the places that we didn't have access before, but yeah. now we're really going in depth into uh, what happened here. Yeah. Uh, I know for you guys, you're gonna really uh, concentrate on Thomas Dow. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Charles has a great connection with Thomas. And I will be uh, trying to connect with Tom Hutchings. And it's not Thomas Hutchings, but it's Tom. Yeah. Tom Reginald Hutchings. And uh, because tonight, it will make 81 years. I'll just say this. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, was, I was filling the beans a bit. <laughs> We've done this spot before. I'm going to link the videos down below. But tonight marks a specific date. Thomas Hutchings, which is known from Creepy Canada back, whatever, 2003. So they say that he is the person that murdered that woman. Now, people say that he did. A lot of people say that he didn't. But like, I, I, all of us agree that 
he's innocent. Something fishy is going on here. There's a huge story behind it. There's theories. Um, another person that actually Chelsea came in contact with last time. You remember Thomas Dowd who mm -hmm. flicked your hair? Yeah. Yep. That was a whole story on its own. Thomas Dowd was framed for murdering Thomas Ward. Even Thomas Ward's wife was imprisoned for that too. And she said it on her deathbed. Yeah. That she... you hung a, an innocent man. Yeah. So it, 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 it's kind of like two, in, two innocent men that were hung hundreds of years apart, well not hundreds, but a couple of... Quite a few. Quite a, quite quite a, a few years away. apart. 1878. 1878 for Thomas Dowd and 1942 for Thomas Hutchings. So... He was in here on the 15th of December 1878, Thomas Dowd. Waiting for his hanging. Waiting for his hanging on the 18th of January 1879. Now we look at 1942, same time, same date, different year, but another, another Thomas awaiting his hanging. So yeah. there's, there's so two Thomas. Thomases in here tonight. But I will lay on Thomas Oching's bed, being in, in the Gansfeld experiment, uh, doing an Estes and uh, uh, those guys are going to ask me questions regarding his, his state of mind before getting hanged. Yeah, so Thomas Hutchings will be this date tonight. This is the official mark of his execution, which is big. 81 years 81 to the years. date, to the hour tonight yeah. it's going to be. Because yeah. even in the records it says that he had George Goodall sat with him for 1 a.m. in the morning, which was the jailer. And then at 1.38 he was at a cost he was led out of his cell to outside to hang. And the noose was pulled to well, unbelievable. Well until 1.30 he had um, uh, he had a, a flight squ a squadron leader Stewart and a squadron leader And the chaplain. The chaplain, yeah. From the the air station that came and talked with him for a moment and Afterwards, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and then at 2.02 it was taken over to the courthouse. So, tonight guys, we gonna, I think it's going to be a premiere. Oh, to, yeah. to really investigate in depth the night that something happened 81 years ago. Yeah, and this is, this is very rare. Last time we came, we were on the anniversary of anything. This could actually be very big on the channel for our channel and Jeff's. We could uncover something that won't ever happen again. We don't know, but tonight something special is going to happen. I can, we're gonna uncover something. I don't know. And it's, it's in the close. nature. It's, it's in right the here. nature. We saw somebody this afternoon. We had coffee with a friend and he told us that the tide is strangely high. He thought that it was a full moon tonight. Yeah, that the tide was so tide. high, and it's not even oh, wow. a full moon. Yeah, and, and it's the not tide a king is tide. High, so, and the tide's gonna be at its highest at two o'clock tonight. Yeah. Wow. So, I remember last time you were here in September, we'd had that hurricane, and it was a high tide when you came yeah. in, mm -hmm. and water. The generation of water, and considering how much water comes into this bay, it's three quarters of the world's lakes empty in here. So you've got all that energy coming in. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm nervous. I've got a headache. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my God. And, uh, and I, I, not, I don't normally get nervous, but I'm like, okay. Opposite of the, 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 the trip we did in Ohio, I sweat a little bit, but it's not like as abundant like yes. I'm, I'm feeling something good it's like top tom is ready like to, to yeah. talk to me he's like you're back again all right hey yeah. you know he's i feel that he's happy that i'm back again like yeah. to talk with him and i told him i would come back and i'm back i don't mind all your words what you're all people of your words so mm -hmm. you said you'd be back uh, we are I'm back so the, obviously the most popular inmates are um Thomas Dowd, who was hung for the murder of Thomas Ward in January 1879, and uh, Sergeant Tom Hutchins down at the end here, who was hung on the 16th of December 1942. 
We also have a lot of uh, women who do haunt here, uh, mainly the jailer's wife who burnt her death in 1834. Has it been the 16th of December? Um, there, up until the early hours of this morning, there was actually three people over the course of time, all waiting for their death sentences. Uh, Thomas Dowd was waiting to be hung in January of 1879. Uh, Liza Ward, who was his accomplice in crime, she was due to hang uh, on the 14th of January 1879. And of course, Sergeant Tom Hutchins was um, hung on the 16th of December 1942. So December is a very haunting month in here, especially up until the 16th. Thomas Dowd definitely likes the ladies. He likes to pull hair. Um, he likes to stroke your hair, um, tap you on the shoulder. Women who haunt here, they like to whisper uh, sweet nothings into the gentleman's ears when they're coming in through the ghost wall. Tom Hutchins, um, you often get a very scented smell of old hove on tobacco. So I'm presuming he used to smoke a pipe. So he's our most prominent person that is seen. Like, I'd say most Saturday nights in the summer, people will show me strange pictures of somebody stood behind them. And I myself have caught a man in an RAF uniform sat on that step. I've also caught a man holding a noose between the slats of the gallows down there. So it's, yeah, bring me your fear factor, that's all I can say. <laughs> Let's change your underwear. <laughs> Even though it's built like a fortress, there were escapes here. Um, obviously, as you can see in 1883, Hugh Waddle, who was waiting trial for arson, broke through an iron barred window with three other prisoners. If you see the iron barred windows, they're incredibly small, um, but yet we have had escapes here before. A young lad, I think he was around about seven years old, he was in here for stealing bread. That's correct, stealing bread. And um, apparently they larded him up with lard, and the smallest one, and pushed him through one of the windows because there is only one window that has a bar in the middle, but the windows are only four inches by 12 inches. So you've got to be fairly slim to get out of here. Uh, Sarah Oliver. Um, and she was actually in here twice and was acquitted on both charges of murder. And as you can see, she married 51-year-old John Wallace in 1854. She was accused of a murder, came in here, and all the document is on the table there. And she was found not guilty by the jury next door in the court, went home and was back in here very shortly for another murder. But she walked out of here again, a free woman after another court case next door. And then Thomas Dowd, who was hung here in um, 1879, um, and Eliza Ward. Now Eliza Ward escaped hanging because she was very heavily pregnant and she was um, committed to the Dorchester Penitentiary for seven years. Um, but the two Thomases are probably the most prominent hauntings in this jail. But they've all got a story to tell. <laughs> if you're going to come in, you've got to bring an open mind and a lot of respect. That's all I can give you advice on. Because what you give is what you're going to get back. Yep, how people were in their afterlife or in their real life. They continue into their afterlife and if you don't respect them and you mock them then you might be leaving with more than you came with. <laughs>I don't know, I think we'll uncover something, hopefully. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, Thomas Dowd's been, uh, he's been cheating on you. <laughs> yep, <mate. laughs> It's crazy because last time, guys, I'll link it down below. This video exactly is where Chelsea's hair got flicked yep. in Thomas Dowd's cell.
He's got something yeah. for jumps. And you saw the mist leave the chair, and when you went out into the corridor, your lights were turned off. Oh, mm -hmm. I just had the creep. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's serious, guys. Yeah. What were you going to say, Jules? I did leave my hair down for that specific reason tonight. To oh. see if he does it again. And I just right. washed it for you, so it's nice and soft. Wow. He's getting go. spoiled tonight. Right. His you girl's the back. Ready? Oh yeah, let's let's start. Guys, if you haven't done so yet, hit that like button. Go and check out our other videos here. I'm gonna link them all down below. We even did the courthouse last time, so if you guys haven't seen that, you guys know what to do. Everything's down there. Go and follow Jeff. He's working super hard in the paranormal community. You guys know what to do. Just go ahead and do that and let's just start, man. Let's get cracking! <laughs> <laughs> So, who are we talking to? Is it a guard? Is it Thomas Dowd? I think she's just said hung. Thomas Hutchings, is this you? This is the, this is the night where you were about to get executed. Are we? Communicating with you right now? I swear if this is him. How much things? Is that you? Remember me, the other veteran? Floorboards. Floorboards? Floorboards. <laughs> Look at this right now. The guy. The guy. I ask, remember me, Thomas? He said the guy. Yeah, the guy, the French guy. The veteran from Quebec. Oh my God, is this hip? Jeff. <gasps> she just said Jeff. Thomas. No. You're doing great. Yes, you're doing great. Oh, <gasps> no. <laughs> Way right now. Sentient. Um, no, that's my friend. Sentient. What does sentient mean? I don't know. Thomas, are you happy that I came back, my friend? I'm really happy to be back. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Well. No way. Man, I told you that I came. I did, I, sorry I called you, man. I, uh, I'm really happy to be talking with you, Tom. And, you know. Her. Her, yes. Talk. Through my friend Chelsea. You know she's really nice. Something waits. Something waits. <sighs> Thomas Hutchings, if, if this is you, are you able to give us some sort of some sort of message as to what are you thinking tonight? Because this was your anniversary to your to your death. You're in a few hours you would be executed. No, she didn't. No, she said. Thomas, we are aware that it's your anniversary. It's gonna make 81 years tonight. Thomas, I have to ask you this. Tom, I have to ask you this. Why? Why? What the? She answered why, like I said. Why did you not ask for some more defense for some help from the Air Force. Release. Release. Was the easy way out. Oh. It was the easy way. Easy. Easy. Wait, wait, wait. Easy way out. Thomas, did you want to end it? Did you you want to commit suicide, but you right. didn't knew how? Was it your way to commit suicide? Dennis. Dennis. Is that Dennis the guilty one? Bad. 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 So that Dennis would be the, the one that actually killed her niece. Is that it? Yes. <gasps> 
Dennis. The book says it. The book, the book says, says Dennis. Dennis. The book says. Was Dennis the guy that Bernice rejected at the dance? Please, Tom. Help me. Yes, Tom. I want to help you. We're That's my way to help you. But you Bernie. gotta. We're here to help you, Tom. Tom, we're here for you and we agree with your story. We don't think you did it, but we need your help to prove that to the world. What is she saying? Four of us. Four of us. Sleep. So there's four of you now. No. Thomas, so you're still here with us. Nora. Nora. Was Nora the, the name of your wife? The one that stayed in the UK? Someone's touching my shoulder! No way. This one! My left one! Who was doing that? Who's touching Chelsea? I am. And who is that? It's like it's like they're holding my hand. I can feel the pressure on my hand. My name is Albert. Again. Again, Again that's twice. Yes. Albert, were you an inmate here? Or a guard? Yes. Whoa. So 23, get out. A guard. I'm getting, I think it's a guard. So you were a guard? Albert, were you a guard? I'm speaking a different language. <gasps> Her skin. I'm thinking. What language are you, are you speaking right now? Tippy toe. Nine. Nine. Close the door. <gasps> Close the door. I'm almost certain it's a guard. I, I'm certain. Too. They don't want us. Break the ice. They don't want us using their sleeping quarters. Yeah. Thomas. What? Can you say auctions are dowed? Is it Thomas Auctions or Thomas Dowd? Because I know that Thomas Dow. Who's touching yeah. Chelsea right now? Don't touch Chelsea, please. Thomas. 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 Tom. Tom Hutchings. Tom. Tom Hutchings. Yeah. Tom. So Thomas is actual name. Yes. Not Thomas. Tom Reginald. Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea. Chelsea. Thomas Hutchings, I have a question for you. I want you to try and give us a message that you have never told any sort of paranormal team ever. Okay, if there's something you need to say, a secret, or, you know, something that you, you don't want to tell anyone else, you can tell us. We're going to keep it safe. We're just trying to get your story out there, okay? We want to understand why you went to the gallows without saying anything, without even saying that. He didn't do it to the Angel end. Angel hierarchy. Angel hierarchy. Angel. Whoa. I think we should tap her out soon. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to tap her out. It's been about 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, I got 10 minutes. I don't, don't know what she just said. Very hell. Who's in there with her right now? Let us know. My camera's we all are. Uh, uh, it's blurry? It was. Damn. I am. Are you close to Chelsea? Yes. 
My name is Albert. <gasps> Again. Again. Albert, was that your room? Hush. Albert, I'm just asking a question. Was this your room? Good. Sleep here. Oh, sleep here. Oh my god, dude. So, Albert, this was your sleeping quarters? Yes, bed. Oh. Albert, what year were you here in? Girl. Can you give us the year you were here? 12 minutes. Did you want to go? Who are you asking this? Ask me. Ask you? Ask you what? Shut up, bro. It's time 12, to go. 12 minutes, 15 minutes. Time to go. She just said it's time, time to go. Time to go. No, fuck Mommy, it. Mommy. Chelsea. Nancy. Oh my god. Oh. Well, did you, uh, did you realize what you were saying? Hold on a second, that would be really like, I felt really heavy on that one. Like, like it started off really light, and then at the end of it I felt like things were closing in on me. And it was just, everything was getting heavy. We had the name, my name is Albert, coming three times, three times. on Spirit Talker. We asked if Albert was a guard, and apparently this was his room. This is where he would sleep. Yep. Yeah, I tried to ask for a year, but he wouldn't give it to me. Albert was probably his last name because guards usually go by last names, not yeah. first names. Oh, that's right. They don't go by first names. Yeah. Right? So his last name will be Albert. Mm-hmm. And Thomas came through. Yeah, I remember saying Tom. Tom, Tom, Tom came Tom. through. Thomas. So, okay, so remind me. So Tom is... Tom Hutchings. Okay, Tom Hutchings. And Tommy. Did anyone go by Tommy? The, uh, no, maybe, maybe as a nickname. As, as a, a nickname? Maybe. maybe. And Thomas, that would be Thomas Dowd. And that's my boy. Yeah. Thomas Dowd. I yeah. did remember someone like touching the top of my head, touching my leg and my shoulder. But the shoulder was like very comforting. Like it was kind of like someone was like, hey, like, Thomas welcome Dowd. back. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Can't wait to see the images if like something like a flick of hair or something. Oh yeah, happened. that would be cool. That'd be wicked. Yeah. All right, well, let's get you out of here. Albert H. Robinson is acquitted of the charge of a murder of an infant. Sensational story of the child's mother, not credited by this jury and nobody feels sure that all facts have been revealed. And we had the name, and my name is Albert, coming three times. Three times. That is weird. Wow. Today has just been a weird day. You okay? Yeah, and then I do remember saying like slept here and that wouldn't make sense. Albert slept here if he was imprisoned here. Is accused of having caused the death of his infant daughter. And there was a lot of like little children voices as well. Hmm. Really? Came through. This is it. Thank you. <laughs> no worries. Good luck. <laughs> oh God, here we go. Oh, that's like chain and all. Okay. Oh. Welcome home. And the red bots are going when she's closing the doors. I'm getting a little nervous, to be honest. The closer we get to the time. Yeah, me too. So, Tom Hutchings. You know that last time I came, I talked with you. And we had a good conversation. And tonight, unfortunately, it's going to make 80 years that, well, you know, I don't have to explain it to you. You probably remember us from last time. Thomas, we came to get some answers. So my camera is picking up on someone sitting on this bench. On the it's bench. on face detection right now and it's like following something. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah? On here. You can see it's like... Oh, yeah. 
Oh, it's, it's someone's sitting right there or something. Yeah, it's like following it. Now it's up in the corner. Yeah, something's sitting right there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Can you tell us who it is? Is this you, Tom? Don't like James. Dorothy. Huh. This was my home. Oh. oh. That's picking up someone like beside you as well. Are you serious? Thomas Hutchings, in a few hours, we know there's something that would have happened to you on this date in 1942. 81 years ago. Can you touch the red device if this is you? Right on the gallows. There's a red light right there where the gallows is. You can come and touch it to show us that it's you. It said Dorothy. That's also my yeah. real name. Thank you. Just mm -hmm. touched it. Thank you. Okay, we're, we're talking to Hutchins then. That's, that's mm -hmm. literally it. Can you tell us, please? Why? Everett. I thought I heard something. Everett. Don't go. And don't go. What'd you hear? I don't know. I thought I heard like a voice down in here. Are you that way? Yeah. But it didn't sound like Felicity. Is it just me, or I have like, it smells like, kind of like piss? Yeah. Yeah. It smells like piss. It does. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? I mean, that would make sense, right? They all peed in buckets down here. Yeah. So yeah, but the last it... time we came, it doesn't smell, it wasn't smelling that. It smells like the remnants of piss. Mm -hmm. uh, like just, that's that's come here. Sitting, yeah. go, go and stand right there in the door. Go and stand right there. <sighs> what? Yo, it smells like a porta potty. No way. I, I tell you, I tell you. <sighs> Babe, it literally smells like a like a bathroom. It does. Yeah, it does. No way. He wasn't smelling that the last time we were here. No. Okay, what just touched me on my arm? Hey! What? Hey! It said hey! hey. You said what touched me on my arm? He said hey! Something was just trying to get my attention. Mm -hmm. And guess what? When I came here before, I was right there. I was trying to like figure out where to set up our, our stuff. I felt like somebody tapped me on the on the shoulder. Yeah, it's, it's we're talking. My name is Mildred. Oh, Mildred. Hi, Mildred. Hello, Mildred. Were you a prisoner here, Mildred? Attic. Attic. No way. The attic. Okay, so the attic was also used for family visits. Is that what? Or was it mostly just like the guards? No, it there? was mostly for the guards. Okay. So I was just up in the attic. I know. <laughs> Whoa! Did you follow me down from the attic? Oh, oh my god! Mildred, if that's you, can you touch it again to confirm? Thomas, if that's you, can you please touch it? Tom? Tommy? Tom Hutchings. What, what name? We're what? making contact. <gasps> oh. So many signs saying we're talking to him right now. By what name would you like to be called? Would you like to be called Tom? Tommy? Thomas? Reginald? Inside? Inside. You want me to go inside your cell? Or do you want my friend Chelsea or my friend Lomar to go in your cell? So if you want me to go in your cell, can you touch a device? If you want me to go in your cell, can you touch a device?
If you want Lamar to go in the cell, can you touch a device, please? I can go. I'm going to go in your cell a little bit later, Tom, to try to communicate with you. My ashes are here. Are you okay, Joss? Somebody just touched my butt. No way. Are Literally, you? Oh. I just felt something really warm on my butt. Chels? Something poked me in my ass in the attic. Uh, Are you kidding me? No, something. What, Jeff? It just said Roger. Roger, did you just touch my butt? No. That's a term, eh? Roger that. Roger that. Like, Did you hear me? It was an Air Force. Roger, when you, you talk to. <laughs> Do you understand yeah, yeah. me? Yeah, Roger, got that. Yeah. Roger that. Wow. Oh my god, Tom, please. Can you tell us, show us a sign that you're here with us? I know that tonight is going to be the night that unfortunately, 81 years ago, well, it happened. Do you want me to go in your cell and put some headphones on so you can talk through me? Can you touch a device to show us that's what you want? Do you not see that? What? The, the I, I, could have, I could have sworn I saw a shadow just slightly just move. Oh, yeah. Is someone in here right now? Thomas Hutching or Tom? Little girl. Did the warden have a daughter run around here? Is this that jail or is that a different jail? It's a different jail. I'm from ancient times. Whoa. Ancient times. That would be probably more to land. Ah, oh, there is something like like an energy force field right here. He's in himself. No, I know, it's just, okay. it's, it's... Donald. Donald. Donald, are you one of the officers, Mr. Donald? Were you walking around tonight? Walking up and down the halls? Are you watching us? before climbing on, on this gallow. Are you picking up anything, Jules? Mm. Is he trying, but he, or? There's something, like, blocking. Yeah, I think I'm, he's I'm trying. I'm really drawn to back there right now. But, like, something keeps telling me to, like, step off of this. He killed me. Bernice Connors. Bernice Is that you? Did you come and hunt? Thomas on the night that it flies. he was hung? Huh? Hung? Hung. Hung. Hung? Hung? Bro! No way. That's pretty cool. Okay. Thank you. So, I'm gonna go in your cell. Holy shit. And, yeah, I'm gonna get the headphones. And You're kidding me right now. Get the camera in there. I don't know how many more clues or messages we can get yes. that prove that we are communicating with Tom Hutchings. Yes, I know you're over here. That's why I'm going. You okay, Charles? My what's neck is burning, I don't know. Really? It's burning. I'm like, it's painful, like pinch. It feels pinchy. Can you look at it? Your neck? Nothing. It was like burning, like right. 
square. Look here. There's a red mark right there. Like right here. What? Like what kind of? It just looks like a bruise. Like a bruise? Yeah, it, it looks like a bruise. Like right there. Yeah, that's where it was burning. Right here? Yeah, right there. In that exact spot? Yeah, that exact spot. No way. The exact spot. Why? What does it look like? It just looks like a bruise. Like a new bruise? Old bruise? Like a, kind of like a, I actually don't even know. But you can see it on okay on the camera? Like yeah, I, I just caught that on the camera. I don't know how old it is or... I mean, there was nothing on my neck this morning when I put my jewelry on. Whoa. Did you just hear that? I think so. I had a cough. Okay. Uh, I don't know what it is. All right, you good, Jeff? Yeah, I need to, man. <laughs> So we got Jeff going under right now. He has a full on VR set. He's basically doing an Estes method with the VR. So he's seeing like a graphic just so he's completely tuned out. Can't hear us, can't see us. He's lying right down here. No way. No. Can you make it stop please? That's moving. Thank you. Can you tell us who's sitting on that chair? Yes, Dad. That is too crazy. Can you tell us who you are? Who's sitting on this chair? That's weird. What are you feeling right now, Thomas? Why don't we talk about it? Real? Yeah, what's happening is real. It already happened, but it is real. You really did go through that. What were you thinking before it happened? Both legs. What did I say? Both legs. Both legs dangled. All right. What were your last thoughts? Are you able to tell us anything that you want us to share? Better hurry. Remember? You're very remembered. People have written books about you. Lots of people still talk about your story. A lot of people are working on uncovering that you are innocent. Hurry again? Why do we need to hurry? You heard that, eh? Through his headphones. Bye. Bye. Whoever's here, c communicate with us. It's okay. What time is it right now? It's like one, almost. Is the person that I saw in the attic here with us right now? I swear I just heard a knock behind me. Really? Oh yeah. Can you knock again? Let her drown. Let her drown. Wait, what? Albert. He said let her drown. Coming? Albert came through, remember Albert was charged for the dr like, supposedly killing his baby who was found floating in water. Get out! Oh, I heard that through my ears. Too. Oh. Looking? Who do you want to get out? We living? The living? Is there anyone specific you want out of your cell right now? What? What? I can't. Something's literally choking me. Wait, what? Like currently? Thompson. Did you get that on camera? Yeah, I did. I literally I did. just stepped in. Ready? My, my throat just closed. Yeah. 
Did someone just make Lamar oh. feel what it felt like? You okay? Holy shit, that was scary. Are you okay though? Oh yeah. My, I felt the muscles in my throat just tighten. What happened? Who oh. did that? Who showed Lamar what it felt like? Right there. On that bench again. Thank you. Can you make it stop? Why don't you tell us where you want us to go? We were executed. We were executed. We were executed. Holy. Holy. Hi, Thomases. Thomas, are you able to give us any sort of message? What? Thomas, I'm talking to Tom. Sorry. Tom Hutchings. There's got to be a message you want to... Did I scare you? Oh. That's specific yeah. for you. Did they scare you? But I was choked out. What was that? Stop it. I don't know what that beep was, actually. When I was, like, kind of choked, that scared me. Thomas, there has to be a message. It, if you have any sort of secret or anything you want to get out to help us understand your case more, please let us know. We're trying to dig deeper in, get more answers to bring to the world, because right now, what we're doing is filming for the entire world. This is your chance. Thomas Ward, Thomas Dowd, Elijah yeah. Ward, what'd that say? Okay. Guard? Whoa. Are you able to tell us what you were feeling before your execution? What were you feeling? Was I feeling your nauseous kind of emotion? Your nausea? Tranquility. He was feeling tranquility. He probably was honestly came, like, kind of came to peace with it, maybe. Like accepted it? Too. Maybe he felt like... Like, how do I explain it? He felt like he knew it was going to happen no matter what. So I feel like maybe the, la maybe the last the last day or the last couple hours he knew it was going to happen. I think maybe he just set peace with it. He wanted it all to end. Just all accepted it. Yeah. Which is honestly really upsetting because like, I, like we all think he didn't do it. We love. Are you still at peace with what happened? Or do you feel like you have unfinished business? I did. Did. You did what? What did you do? I heard bugger. Are you with Eliza on the other side? They're not able to fully communicate. Like they're not reaching our equipment or him. No, I know it's been pretty like the spirit talker has been decently quiet. I do, I do feel like those. Like I can't speak. Oh my god, I do feel like these are the last. These are the last couple minutes before his life was taken, so he probably was very much quiet. You know, like that's, that's a huge thing to have to process. I don't know how anyone could process it. There was nothing, just static. It was just static coming through. Oh! What's that, what's that, what's that? What's that's that? on the lever. That's on the gallows? Yeah. No way. Oh. When we asked, um, how he felt before it said tran tra tranquility. tranquility. Like how did you feel before you were executed? It said tranquility. Tranquility. Yeah, it's pretty. So that's why probably nothing was coming through because it was just static. Yeah. Just. Again, this bench one. It's going Both, to yellow. Huh? What does yellow mean? Yellow and green. Yellow. Yeah. Yellow and green. That's a good touch. Yeah, it was yellow and then now it's green. Wow. Can you please make it stop? 
Thank you. Whoa! Holy crap, dude. Thomas Dowd, is that you? We need to have a chat, mister. We asked him how did he feel before he died. He said tranquility, so we believe that he came to accept his fate. I'm pretty sure too. He said he felt tranquil, so it, like, it had to have been through his mind that like, I'm accepting my death at this point. I, he, yeah, he accepted his fate, but I, I, I still don't understand why. If he didn't do it, why? And I, I'm sticking with that my theory that Thomas, Tom, did you want? Did you want to end to end your life at one point in time? And when that happened, well, that was your opportunity to well end it up. Just very drawn to like feeling like someone's constantly watching behind us. You're gonna do the honors for me? Oh, I'm gladly do the honors. Oh my yeah. god. Here you go. There we go. I have absolutely no light. Thank you. So right now, it is about 15 minutes before he was executed, about 15 to 20. So as of right now, he was being brought out. Now the story goes that when he came out, he actually went back to his cell to shut off a light or something. I don't know what to think right now. I'm just so confused about everything. I just want to know more. Um, literally, guys, in less than 20 minutes, you would have been executed out there. Now, whenever we do come down here, we try and focus on him. Also, Thomas Ward, who the hell was just fucking walking? Tom, are you here with me right now? Preparing for your execution? Whoa, what the f was that? A giant indent on that bed right now. Move away, please. Move right away. Damn. You got it. Okay, that just started going off like crazy right now. Tom, if that's you, make it go off. Oh my God. Tom, if you're getting ready to go to your execution, touch that again, go right to it. Oh my God. No way, dude. Guys, I'm not even out in the hallway right now. I'm not alone even moving right now. So someone is touching that or right near it. Thomas Ward, if you're here, touch that or go near it. Holy sh! Oh, it's 
just stopped. It just stopped. Uh. Dude. Wow, thank you so much. If we go to the courthouse, are you able to appear for us or move something in there? Move away. Touch that if that's the case. I, I, I honestly feel like they're, they're gonna do it regardless. Touch. Move away. Thanks. That's movement and proximity and temperature. Touch the device if you're gonna do something in the courthouse for us. You didn't even let me finish. Touch that if you're gonna do something in the courthouse. Touch it now. Holy sh Are you gonna move away? Are you gonna hurt us? Touch that if you're gonna hurt us in the courthouse. Oh my Jesus Lord. Oh my good Lord. <laughs> That's not chill. If you're the person that choked me, touch that device. Holy mother. Touch it if Thomas Ward choked me. Or Dowd. Touch it if Thomas Hutchings choked me. Dude, why would he choke me? That is the real question right now. Why would he ever choke me when I didn't do anything to him? So I'm gonna make this straight right now. So Chels was having a lot of difficulty tapping in when he when she was in here. It seemed a little bit dud. Like, so. She's taking a break right now, but we've been getting so much stuff like this the entire night. It's been a different night. In cold nights like this, it's hard to investigate. So we're doing our best to just stay in these areas where we can like, you know, continue to do so. But it's hard. It's like our batteries drain in the cold. We get tired. Um, she's slowly getting mentally drained out. I am too. It's just a weird night overall. So I just wanted to, wanted to set that straight for you guys, right? So thank you for your time, Thomas Hutching or Tom Hutchings. We're gonna be out there really soon for your execution. How does it feel to be to be going to your execution about now. 1.50 a.m. This is your time. Your anniversary. Holy sh**. Just got a whiff of... Uh, nauseous. Energy. Just go live. I feel like I'm gonna throw up right now. Holy sh**. I just, oh my God, I just feel like, oh, damn. I feel like I'm gonna throw up right now. Ah. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna throw up right now. Can someone let me out of here? Hello? Chels? Jeff? Hello? <laughs> oh no, not at all. I feel like I'm uh... Drained? No, I, a nauseous feeling just came into that. So, that was... 
That was very interesting. Tom Hutchins, are you here? I have regrets. I have regrets. Wow. Right away. Can you tell us some of your regrets? The here. Hateful, I understand. 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 We're, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to understand why you did it. Do why you, you accepted it. Do you regret accepting it? Is that what you regret? 151. Wow. He would have been... Uh, so now he's... He's hanging right he's now. He's hanging. How did you feel when you felt that your neck didn't snap? That you were choking? Did you panic? Did you... Were you scared? Can you give us a sign if you want us to go inside the, the courthouse now? That it was done? He would have went in through this way, right? Yeah. Through the courthouse? By the, car, by the side door. That yeah. side door right there. That's where you would have went in. Yeah. Yep. They would have lowered his body right here and take him by that door over there. So, Tom, if you don't want to talk here anymore, you gotta go in the courthouse, okay? And the courthouse feels so heavy. Well, that's a sign. Okay, we're going Like, so court. heavy. Yeah. This 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 doctor in particular, do you like her? <gasps> Pressure. Wow. Oh, wow. Can you shut off the flashlight if you're contacting my dog right now? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> That's what IKEA is picking up right now. Is top. Oh, oh! Thank you, Tom. Wow. Does it bring you comfort having a dog here? In turn. Oh. Wow. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, she just picked up something. Wow. Did you get that, Chels? He's picking up something right now. Can you pick her up here? Show us. Have you seen everything that's going on up on the bench up there? So I'm trying to I'm trying to connect the pieces here with with um, Tom. Tom, he's here with us right now. Yes. I want to know if maybe if he's if that's a residual thing he has to go through every time. <gasps> yeah. He's intelligent, but does he have to go through that every time? Like every every anniversary. Yeah. Thomas. Tom, sorry. Busy. Busy? Tom, am I right? Do you have to repeat this event every anniversary? Can you turn on the flashlight? If my friend is right. Even if you're intelligent. Uh, we just want to know if that's what you have to do in the spiritual realm. Can you turn on the flashlight? If it's that. If it's not, are you interacting especially with us because you like us? If there's someone else, then Tom James, then you turn on the flashlight. Thomas Dow, is that you? Can you turn off the flashlight if it's you? What was that? 
That sounded like a voice yeah. below us in that corner. Like whatever's below us, it sounded like it came from underneath, but in that corner. Like moaning. My name is Robert. That was a, yeah. like a yeah. young kid or something. Robert. Yeah. My name is Robert. Robert. That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah wow. Did you moan? Yeah, she just came. She's picking something up. I don't know what she's picking up, but. She gets random bursts and she just goes. What's up, baby? How are you doing? That was weird. Yeah. There's something in this room, Chels. Literally. It's she she keeps... Judge, chambers, yeah. She's infatuated with this room. What's in here, Akia? Oh. Guys, she's literally picking up something. Tom, are you back with us? Hmm. That's weird. That's weird. Uh, this could have been where his body was. He was in a, a casket. Right here. He would have been lying right here. So we did this last time you were here where I came and lied down. Right here. Watch, watch. Yeah. If you want me to lie down here with you, can you turn that light off, please? Can you turn the torch off if you want my friend Chelsea to lay down where your body goes? Thank you. Whoa. Okay. That was kind of instant. Yeah. <coughs> I will do what you want. Gladly. Let me get comfy. Thomas, we know you were innocent. I know you've encountered people that have thought otherwise, but we know. But we... My blood. Right My there. Blood. His blood could have been right here. Yeah. Thomas, are you able to touch something? If you were innocent, let us know. Show us the proof for the people watching right now. We have red auras, red lights up there. We have a flashlight. Turn on the flashlight or touch the red light if you were innocent. Let us know. For proof for the world. Or make a loud thing. Yes, or move something or make a loud noise. Turn on the light. Sorry. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, the flashlight, sorry. The, the flashlight, the flashlight. The torch came on. Yeah. Thank you, Thomas. Tom. So. Tom, thank you so much. Oh, so you, and, and the, the red, red light. light. So you was innocent. And you, you are, I just got shivers all over my body. And you knew it. It so, is extremely cold right here. You're cold? Like freezing cold. Does it feel cold? It's like body chills. For me. Like my bones again feel cold. Yeah, just a bit right here. Maybe that's where his shoulder was. Maybe his shoulder's like right next to mine. It's not like, I don't feel like it's cold. It's like the body chills. You know when your body gets chills? Yeah, but put your hand just right near her shoulder. You're gonna feel. Yeah, there's a slight. Uh, yeah. It's like. Mm hmm. Right it, there. It goes down a degree. Yeah. Thank you so much, Tom. You just helped us with answering to the world. You want to clarify this. You want the world to know that you didn't do it. And you were wrongly accused. 
Tom, if another person from the military base murdered her. Oh my God, I didn't even finish my question. I was gonna say touch that, but can you turn on the flashlight if another person from the military base did this instead of you? Ginger. Or and you knew it was. Ginger. Was he ginger? Was his hair ginger color? Can you turn on the flashlight? No. Was he in the dance with you? Can you turn on the flashlight? Earlier on, you told us. <laughs> He was at the dance, and the flashlight turned on. Oh my god. Jeffrey. Oh! What? Jeffrey? That's so weird. Oh. Okay, yeah. so Tom's trying- I that's from the torches. I think Tom's trying to connect with you. Yeah, he's trying to talk to me. So, Thomas. You, it's Tom, sorry. Tom. You knew the guy that killed Bernice Connors, did you? Can you turn off the flashlight if you... Oh! My God! Nine. Nine. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's the term for yes? I tell you, he knows, he knows who he is. He knows it. I feel like he was there. He, he, he saw it happen, but he wasn't a part of it or tried to do anything. He was... Were you too drunk or did you try to help Bernice? That's why you were covered in blood and your clothes were all messed up? Is that it? But you were too drunk and you couldn't help her? And you don't remember anything? Is that it? <gasps> oh my god, dude. This is so accurate right now. <sighs> confirm that by shutting it off then, please. Turn it off. To Just confirm to that. that I'm right that you tried to defend Bernice, but you were too drunk. Wow, wow. Oh my good lord. This is incredible right now. We, we're uncovering, I just got body chills. I think we just uncovered the truth for proof. Thank you so much, Tom. We're on your side. Don't forget Tom, that. I'm deeply, deeply sorry for everything. I, but I, I'm still puzzled. Why? You okay? Again, just, I keep hearing movement downstairs. Wait, you keep hearing movement? Mm hmm. So, like, the vent's right there. And I keep hearing, like, footsteps downstairs. It sounds like people wearing boots. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah. But every time, like, I hear it, I look around at you guys and no one's moving. Yeah, they could have been just. Would they have destroyed it down here? Like in they the. Would have stored here. They would have stored it in the. Oh. In the basement. Wow. Under the judge's chambers. Could that. That's probably what Kia's picking up underneath there. Oh, yeah. She's sniffing on the ground. We were walking Bernice home to kind of give her protection. And that guy that she turned down at the dance. His voice and the guy she turned down at the dance came back and you were too integrated to defend her. Yeah, he was he saw it happen, but he was he was too out of it. Or probably because of his brain injury that he blacked out. Mm, yeah. Probably the other one knocked him out. 
he could have, yeah, I was about to say he could have gotten attacked too. He could have got the other guy knocked got, him out. Got, uh, you, did you My got. Whoa. Oh! Whoa! Oh my god, dude. <laughs> did the guy knock you out before? You had your brain injury and probably your head was really fragile. Did you got hit and lost it before you went for Bernice? Turn on the flashlight, please. So you try to fight it. Oh! oh. I knew it. I knew it. He was trying to defend Bernice. He did kill her. He was trying to defend her. Oh! That's why he came back to the dead with bloody clothes and messed up clothes. And he was confused. Breaking wheel. Breaking wheel. Yeah, that's the second time I said that. What does that mean, though? I don't know. I feel like that's an oh old slide. God. You good, bro? Yeah, but... Oh, I feel so bad. The guy wanted to defend her, and... He got the news for it. Mm. Look, the flashlight turned on. Just by seeing that. Can you shut it off if you're upset that the media portrayed you as the murderer? No way, no way, no way. If that goes right off, I... It was kind of upset. Kind of. Shut it off if you were, if you were fully upset. Oh my god. I think he was trying to shut it right off there. He was... What? No way. And the red bar did. Like the front door? Yeah. yeah. Guys, I think because this is his anniversary right now, I, I, I truly believe that this is... He shouts. He, he's trying to get... With the noose around his head. <gasps> Remember that? There's a guy with the yeah. apparition of a man. Yeah. yeah. Look at the torch. Look at the torch going. Because we're talking about the angry man. Oh man. We talked about an angry man seen roaming around with his noose. Out man. the window. Yeah. Which window was it? It's all of them. And sometimes you'll actually see, for no reason whatsoever, signs. And they're runestone signs. Oh, wow. Runestone. Kia was also very fixated on that window. Yeah. She was fixing both windows. She was oh, yeah. fixing that one and that one. Okay, turn on the flashlight if the man with the hanging noose is here with us right now. <gasps> the oh, no. <gasps> Holy, that was like almost instant. I asked for the flashlight though. Can you touch the flashlight? The torch. If the you're the man with the noose that he hangs around the court. Oh my oh. god! What? There's so much poltergeist activity at this spot. I don't know what to think the right now. I, 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 I don't think so. The door, because I thought somebody was coming in. But the door moved. So Felicity felt the door move, so poltergeist. I heard the door. It's like my head is so cold at the moment. <laughs> Body. Body. Where the body was. He didn't kill her. He was trying to protect her from somebody else at the dance that wanted more. Oh. All right. You okay? Yeah, I'm just exhausted. I feel very drained. Yeah. I feel very, very drained. I'm like drunk. Try it. I'm you okay? Like, I feel like I'm like drunk. Go sit down with Key. She's, uh, I think she needs someone with her. 
So we just came in contact with Tom, which <laughs> he ended up actually spilling the beans tonight. I don't know how much more proof that can, like that we can give you with that one. You know, there's been a lot of people that have denied. I protect this place. It's him. Man. It's him. Yeah, you guys were there to experience that all. That's so cool. That is so cool. So we just made history right there. Finally, the end of the episode. Now, we did a little bit of a jump there. We filmed this in December. Now it's March, going into April by like shy of a few days. That was probably one of the coolest pieces of evidence we have come across on the channel. If that was Tom Hutchings, that was dope. Like that was truly like once in a lifetime you get that clear of evidence. Like if that was him, that's so cool. Not only that, we had Albert come through, which was an old inmate who was acquitted from a murder of an infant. Like you were scratched, you got marked. At one point I wasn't even feeling good. So all of that in one night, you gotta kind of keep in mind, we did two spots in one night, mm -hmm. right? So I don't know, that was just like one of the most coolest things I've ever seen. If that was truly Tom, that was so dope. Honestly, that jail and that courthouse are some of my favorite locations and I don't think I would ever turn down an opportunity to investigate again. It's always just every time we go, I feel like we uncover a little bit more and a little bit more. So I think we still have a lot more to discover at this location, Zuh. Oh yeah, 100%. Do the two. 100%. But I don't know. I'm excited to be able to go back. I'm excited to gather everything and just I don't try know, it again. Try sometime. it again. Yeah. Well, we all know like I have some sort of connection to that spot. I love it. So I think we just need to keep going back. I noticed something at the end of the video. You were kind of like either tuning out a bit or you were just tired. What was going on? Like, I was exhausted. I wasn't tuning out, but I was exhausted. I think at some point throughout the night, I just hit like I hit a brick wall and just needed to just lie down and sleep. Yeah. But. I mean, we did have a late night, right? We did. It was a really busy couple of days. So. Even Akia too. Yes. Kia even too joined us. So. I truly think that she did see someone. Like I don't know what she saw, but she definitely saw. She picked up on something for sure. Someone in there. So. I also just want to say a huge thank you to Felicity for everything that you've done for us, for like the channel, for allowing us to go into these locations, especially allowing Akia to have her very first ghost hunt. I know, that was pretty cool. And just always going into such detail for the history and the love that you have for the paranormal. So I just, a huge thank you to Felicity for making this happen for all of us. Big thank you to yeah. Felicity. We definitely couldn't have done this without her. So that's a wrap right now. We are just about to go to America at this point. It's the 3rd. You guys are watching this April 3rd. We'll be halfway done our trip by then. But we're getting a lot of content for you guys right now. So I just want to say a big thank you for everyone who's been staying patient on the channel. The past week and a half has been extremely busy. We're getting stuff ready at home. We're planning. I'm trying to edit these videos for you guys right now as we speak. I'm like preparing some. So yeah, big thank you to everyone who's been patient. We love you guys so much. And remember, After Death Season 3 is coming real soon. Right now we're in the States filming that for you guys so that's gonna be dope big things are coming we're gonna have pretty insane episodes shall we hit the road we shall say bye kiki <laughs> yeah all right let's go Rowdy.